Three months after someone opened fire inside of a New Year's Eve party, family and friends say goodbye to a college athlete injured in the shooting. Larry Aaron was paralyzed and later released from the hospital before dying suddenly last week. Kimberly Eaton was inside of the church where more than a thousand people attended his funeral. Under gray, misty skies, love and support rained down inside Bridgeway Community Church. Where 2,000 people celebrated the life of 19 year old Larry Aaron. A mild mannered giant, a kind person, someone that respects everybody. His life cut short with the pull of a trigger. Aaron was at a New Year's Eve party when police say someone opened fire. Shielding his girlfriend, the teenager was hit and paralyzed by a stray bullet. He fought toward recovery, even attending a fundraiser in his honor last month before he died suddenly one week ago. This has been a tough time for the family. We've been on a roller coaster since January 1st. 61 days later, a heartbreaking goodbye flanked by Aaron's football jersey. His teammates sat behind his family wearing black and green, the colors of Marshall University, where he shined on the field. Really Head coach Doc Holliday. In 40 years plus of coaching football teams, I've never seen a young man be at a place for such a short period of time and affect a football team like your son did. A standout high school athlete turned college defensive tackle. More importantly, off the turf, a son, brother, uncle, and friend. Number 93, never forgotten. Police are offering a $10,000 reward for information.